so we learned about the menstrual cycle it is a 28 day cycle next we are going to learn about the menstrual disorders here we will learn five types of disorders first one is amenorrhea then polymenorrhea dysmenorrhea menorrhagia and oligomenorrhea first we are going to learn about amenorrhea so you know the term something related to a means absence so what is amenorrhea absence of menstruation is called amenorrhea what is amenorrhea absence of menstruation is called amenorrhea if menarche or puberty does not appear till the age of 18 it is called primary amenorrhea so what is primary amenorrhea if a person does not attain sexual maturity till the age of 18 it is called primary amenorrhea then absence of menstruation for over three consecutive months is called secondary amenorrhea so what is primary amenorrhea if the person does not attain puberty till the age of 18 what is secondary amenorrhea absence of menstruation for over three consecutive months second menstrual disorder is the polymenorrhea polymenorrhea is a term used to describe menstrual cycle that is shorter than 21 days that means instead of one menstrual cycle that will that particular person will undergo more than one type of more than one menstrual cycle so what is polymenorrhea polymenorrhea is a term used to describe a menstrual cycle that is shorter than 21 days it may be due to hyperactivity of the anterior pituitary gland causing frequent ovulation psychological disturbances and malnutrition so it may be due to the hyperactivity of the pituitary gland which leads to number of ovulation psychological disturbances and malnutrition chronic pelvic inflammation by certain sexually transmitted diseases such as chlamydiasis or gonorrhea can cause inflammation in the uterus causing polymenorrhea so some sexually transmitted diseases are also responsible for the polymenorrhea that means certain sexually transmitted diseases or std such as chlamydiasis or gonorrhea can cause inflammation in the uterus causing polymenorrhea third type of menstrual disorder is the dysmenorrhea pain associated with the menstruation is called dysmenorrhea what is dysmenorrhea pain associated with the menstruation is called dysmenorrhea it is the most commonly reported menstrual disorder there are two types of dysmenorrhea they are primary and secondary dysmenorrhea so what is dysmenorrhea it is the pain associated with the menstruation two types of dysmenorrhea primary dysmenorrhea and secondary dysmenorrhea primary dysmenorrhea is pain or cramps during menstrual period and is caused by secretion of prostaglandin in the uterus so primary dysmenorrhea is the pain during the menstrual period which is caused by the secretion of prostaglandin in the uterus secondary dysmenorrhea is caused by a disorder in the reproductive system like endometriosis or uterine fibroids so what is dysmenorrhea pain associated with menstruation is called dysmenorrhea two types of dysmenorrhea what are they primary dysmenorrhea and secondary dysmenorrhea primary dysmenorrhea is due to the is the pain due to the secretion of prostaglandin in the uterus how the secondary dysmenorrhea causes it is caused by some disorder in the reproductive system like endometriosis or uterine fibroids fourth type of menstrual disorder is the menorrhagia heavy and prolonged menstrual period that disrupts a woman's normal activity is referred to as menorrhagia 
menorrhagia may be due to hormonal imbalance ovarian dysfunction uterine fibroids and may also be due to cancer of the ovary uterus or cervix a heavy and prolonged menstrual period that disrupts a woman's normal activity is referred to as menorrhagia the bleeding will be heavy and the menstrual period days will be prolonged so that is menorrhagia heavy and prolonged menstrual period that disrupts women's normal activity is referred to as menorrhagia it may be due to hormonal imbalance ovarian dysfunction uterine fibroids and may also be due to cancer of the ovary uterus or cervix last type of menstrual disorder is the oligomenorrhea it is a condition with the infrequent menstrual periods it occurs in women of child bearing age some variation in menstruation is normal but a woman who regularly goes more than 35 days without menstruating may be diagnosed with oligomenorrhea so you know the cycle is a 28 day cycle the menstrual cycle is the 28 day cycle if it exceed 35 days that means till 35 days a, a girl a woman who is not experiencing the menstruation is the oligomenorrhea i hope you understand what is oligomenorrhea it is a condition with infrequent menstrual periods it occurs in women of child bearing age some variation in menstruation is normal but a woman who regularly goes more than 35 days without menstruating may be diagnosed with oligomenorrhea so if it is a 28 day cycle means for a normal woman they will experience nearly 12 12 menstrual cycle in their in a particular year so if the person is oligomenorrheic means it will leads to 4 to 4 to 7 or 4 to 9 menstrual cycle will be experienced in their in a particular year okay so menstrual disorder five types we learned first one is the amenorrhea it is the absence of menstruation polymenorrhea the menstrual cycle will be ex, will be shorter that is 20 and 21 day cycle so it there will be number of menstruation during a particular year third one is the dysmenorrhea that is the pain associated with menstruation then fourth one is the menorrhagia that is heavy and prolonged menstrual period that disrupts a woman's normal activities what is oligomenorrhea it is a condition with infrequent menstrual periods that is a woman who regularly goes more than 35 days without menstruation